Hello everyone, Santa Dub 2, and welcome to a redo or follow up overview of Adorn. The mod covers chairs and counters, chimneys, tables and drawers, sofas for sitting and sleeping on, fences, and a bunch of other additional things. So I've got a setup here so you can get an idea of what each one is like. I've got sofas which are made with wool and sticks, like so. You have multiple of different colours connect to each other. You can right click to sit on them, or you can sneak right click on any side and you will be sleeping on it. So, different types there. You've got chairs which are made with slabs and sticks, multiple variations of wood for them, and you can obviously sit in those. You can't obviously sneak right click on them to get a different so it does obviously kick you out of it though, I guess. You've got the table, which is made with slabs and sticks, there's multiple variations. And if you place two or more together, it'll extend the legs of the table. You can obviously put stuff on top of them if you wish. Like I've got these lamps here. You've got counters, which are andesite slabs that are polished and planks. There are many different types there. And you put stuff on top of these, uh, there is no access of an inventory, unlike the others though. You've got the kitchen cupboard, which obviously... kitchen counter... Yeah, kitchen cupboard, which is two counters and a chest. And you can access these and have a chest-like inventory inside, so if I want to put a lamp in there, I can. If I want to put a stack of something in there, I can. And you can pull it out if need be. Next up we have the drawers, which are two slabs and a chest, which are obviously also a chest size slot, except not part of the counter. So for a different theme of room. We've got posts, which are sticks and planks, which are like so outside here. You can jump on top of these unlike fences. I don't know if they do join together, I'm pretty sure they're just a post. Yeah, and you can place them on multiple sides as well. There is the oak platform, like so, which is a post and slab. Uh, these, as well as the posts, were part of a mod called, um, called something else a while ago, but have now been included in Adorn. Um, and obviously you can walk up these if you want, or jump on them, or use them as like an outdoor table of sorts. Depends. There's multiple different types for wood, as well as stone. Sandstone, diorite, stone brick, nether brick, and sandstone again. We've got oak steps that are obviously a bit smaller and made from similar materials, like so. We have the shelves, which are slabs and sticks. As you can see, two over here. The iron one does require stone rods, though, which you need, like so. I'm pretty sure you can just put something on top of them like so. I'm pretty sure probably multiple as well. We'll see. Uh, not that. So at least two on top of those. You can take them on and off. Not sure if you can use a hopper underneath, but it probably doesn't need that sort of testing. Um, you've got chimneys, which are like so, which automatically light up, I'm pretty sure, or already have smoke coming out of them. Um, obviously I don't have a proper sort of fireplace or look here for this demonstration building, but either way. If we use a flint steel, I think we can't interact with these. They're more so for underwater, I guess. We've got the lamps, which are made with a stone torch, like so. And you can use a stone torch if you wanted for decoration, but that's the lamps, and they obviously do light up. Yeah, just for decoration. We have the trading station, which you can use for trades with other players. Set a price and what you want to trade. Got the crates for storage. I'm pretty sure if you just break these, you should be able to get them back, and I'm not sure about converting them to 
possible. There's honeycomb in that one, so you can convert them back if you want to, besides them being for storage or decoration. I've got the picket fence, which is bone meal or white dye and sticks. Like so. I didn't know how to change that around unless I placed it wrong. There we go. So they may or may not connect accordingly. And depending on which side you place them, obviously, it does matter. We've got chain link fences, which are iron nuggets and iron. And these don't connect. I'm not sure if they do connect to iron bars, though. Or fences themselves. Which we'll try with the picket as well. Obviously, it probably depends on the side with the picket compared to some of the others. It doesn't connect to either there. With the stone ladder, which is stone rods, which is just, I'm pretty sure, a stone variation of the ladder. It's not faster. Yep. There we can. Let's just make a lot of jumping over it. And then you have the books, which are for giving information about how trading works, and what blocks are included in the mod, and what they do. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye. But we do have configs, such as sitting on tables, skipping the night on sofas, protecting trading posts from other players, debug if need be, and extra pieces support for stuff there. Thanks so much for watching, and goodbye.